Hey you guys, welcome to the show. It's me, Ryan P, back in the studio with... So, it's me, your freestyle dance teacher, Kendall Winneman here. We're gonna have a lot to drink tonight. What game are we playing? We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna be feeling good. <laughs> We're gonna have many, many... Bethany's... Drink on... Drink. Truth or drink, baby. Here we go. Let's freaking go, girls. Let's go, girls. Anyways, you guys, I ended up having to refilm this intro because I was sweating this entire video and to the point that I had to bring an ice pack out because Kendall's house doesn't have air conditioning, so I don't know why the fuck I'm here. It's a beach house. It's, what are you gonna do? <laughs> it's so fucking hot. Excuse me. Anywhere I go, I just sweat because in my room, it's the second story. Uh, no one cares. No one cares about why you're sweating. But just so you know, I'm not just a sweaty bitch. I just sweat because of the... Circumstances. Should we take a shot? I already took one. I know. I just feel like crazy. It's like a Friday night. Let me order some. Let's go dance. Let's dance. Let's dance. Do you want to have a dance party right now? I'm so, so down. Too clown. I'm downer to clowner. Ooh, you just gave me a boner. Yes, I believe we must say a fucking fat ass boner. boner. My body smells like... We rock. Hey, my name is Kendall. People in middle school used to call me Wendell. They thought it was funny, but I thought it was lame. You motherfuckers think you can phase me, but no. You a fucking asshole with your lame ass disses and your fucking sombrero. Anyways, you guys, now you're gonna see where I was really sweaty and really hot. Uh -huh. Kendall's house is hotter than my room. Anywhere I go is a nightmare. I promise I don't sweat this much. I'm like an amphibian. Cheers! What's the hardest drug you've ever done? Mm. Good question. Definitely dabbled, but I'm like, what's the hardest? And I think it would be... Ooh. I've never done that. The, like the best light show you've ever seen. Like Zed or Martin Garrix isn't giving you that type of light show. Are you not sweating balls? No. This is incredible. Have you ever hooked up with two people on the same night? Probably. You probably don't remember. What do you consider a hookup? Like, are you talking about kissing or like? Yeah, make out. I feel like most people have, right? Just like when I get drunk, I do a lot of weird shit. Yeah. How many people have you slept with? Ooh. I asked that You're question. You're doing a drink? No, I'm doing a drink. Just no one needs to know that except for me. Oh. What is the worst thing about being a male? Great you question. You picked the perfect question. <sighs> that society expects you to be friends with males. What school oh. act are you worst at? It's so hard. Hi, Poppy. Hey, I'm we're filming so a video bad. right now. That's great. I know it's. Uh, we're filming a video. That's fabulous. And we're yeah. gonna post it online. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa. No. oh, I got you one. I brought you. Oh, one. thank God. Sorry. Oh, it's not Let pink. Let me put it on. So Wait, why do you get the cute one? Because it matches my outfit. I think this is dead. Hey, hey. I can't wear it. Hey. Hey. So we will for right now. Hey. hey. Hey, yeah. hey! We want some puss. <laughs> but this will fix. I think you look so good. Oh, it's like a Botox. Botox? It's like you need to get more. Up. You need to get more. I need a lot more. That'll help you, I think. Ryan has such a sweating problem. Everyone, get my views up so I can go get a full face of Botox. All right. He's right. Come on, we need more. Let's get to 100K. Ryan to 100K. <laughs> what is your favorite <laughs> scent? Great, Great question, question, everyone. Thank, Thank you for, 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 for freaking asking. Ass. You smell so cool. really good, though. What are you wearing? Thank you. Oh my god, you guys. I'm wearing Versace oh, Eros. Where did you just get that? Where did that just come from? I'm wearing Versace Eros from my favorite company, Scentbird. Scentbird is a monthly subscription service. Yes, you can get high end 
brands. I'm talking Versace, Gucci, Prada. Is this accurate? Tom Ford, yes. Just take a walk. I'm so turned on right now. Thank you. You guys can go on Scentbird and take a quiz and you can figure out what scent works for you based on your preferences. I did it and I got the best scent. Bleak Mondays, yes. And you know how I feel about a Monday. I'm like, fuck it, it's a Monday. But you know what? This cologne has got me loving a Monday. Alert. Oh! It's actually really nice. The cool thing is, it shows you all the notes that are in it. So if someone wants to be like, what are you wearing? You just be like, green apple, vanilla mint, tonka bean, and lemon. <laughs> Stop buying your overpriced perfumes slash colognes. There's no point when you could be paying a low price for really nice scents. Let's save some money, honey. This is the only company I call I'm genius because it makes sense. Ryan. I'm ready. You're ready? I'm ready! <laughs> when you put on a new scent, Hello. you're putting on a new personality. So you guys use RP30 for 30% off your next or first fragrance. Like, stop smelling bad. There's no point these days. I'm over the excuses. Call the last person you hooked up with and tell them you're home alone and want them to come. This isn't truth or dare. This is just- No, but I had to throw that in there, so you have to do it. Who's the last person you hooked up with? I don't even have their number. I purposely ghosted them. Wait, It's like a 32-year-old you... man. So you don't have his number? <laughs> no. Oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a shot. You don't have to. I I'll call another to, and to take honest. another. What's the geekiest <laughs> thing you've ever done? Really? I've I, never done that and well, I'm a gay No, man. it wasn't full finger actually. Because I'm scared of putting my fingers in someone else's <laughs> I have a really weird thing, like if I touch coins, I know I hate the smell of like metal, where like if I touch a railing that's rusty, like I know I'll smell my fingers after. Just to like confirm that it smells bad, if I did that to someone else, I feel like I would literally have to smell it. I've never done that before. What? Like smell my fingers and I'm like, oh, what's it gonna smell like? Right. Like I've- And that's why your fingers <laughs> gone up a- my full finger didn't go up. I also have really long nails. These are mine. You scooped a little poo poo out? I didn't stick it up. It was like you put pressure. Girls are like so much braver because like guys are for sure not <laughs> What's the worst sex you've had? I want to take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Wait, oh, you should have taken a shot for the last one because you couldn't have done it. Fine. Duh. This is a drinking. Like, we want you to drink It's a here. Friday. It's a Friday. This is what quarantine and we Fridays are, are like. drinking our feelings. This is what it's turned into. It's like, give me a reason to drink. That's why I turned my show into a drinking show. It probably looks like I'm like an alcoholic, but this like, I only happened. drink when I film. Uh, the worst sex I've ever had was... <laughs> I like the person, so I won't categorize this one as the worst one. They were just like, rapid. I'll say the worst was when I went to like, Michigan. Check I would it. just rank that person as the lowest because they got salty when I ghosted them and then started sending me rude texts. Can so, I, you guys are fucking rude. Wait, today I was coming to the realization that it is a personal issue and yes. I genuinely was like, should I text every guy I've ghosted and apologize? Like, I genuinely was like this close to doing it. I kind of feel bad about it and it's not that it's like, I don't like you. It's, it's a personal problem. It has nothing to do with you. It's like- Daddy issues? I mean, everyone has them. Who can relate, right? And what's the most degrading thing you've ever done, done during sex? Yes. I've never done anything degrading. Really? Yeah. When I was like 18, someone like spit in my mouth. <laughs> oh, but I didn't ask for that. I was just like, that was fucking rude and disgusting. It's like when I used to get in random Ubers a lot. Don't get into the car with strangers. Especially um, an Uber pool. It's the car that I was getting in over the pants. <laughs> and <then I> was <laughs> by like an older British guy. And then I was on a construction site. And I was like, I'm totally going to get murdered right now. What's the kickiest <laughs> toy you've ever used with a partner? When I lost my V card, he made me use a... <laughs> Wait, I can record a sound noise for you. That's it. I loved that. Thank you. <laughs>
<laughs> Most scandalous location you've had since? A bean bag. Really? A bean bag? Mm -hmm. Where? Was this bean bag? In the bedroom. Was there a lock oh. on your door? <laughs> there was, so it's not. Oh. I'm not risky with my locations, I guess, and I have to be. What's the most embarrassing item you've ever used to get yourself off? That's a shot for me. I mean, you know, I've never gotten myself off before. Really? Ne no. Never? You've never? I swear on my life. You've never tickled the pickle? You've never poached the egg? You never shucked the corn? How do you like your eggs? Fertilized? What sexual act are you best at? <gasps> Jobs, duh. And sex, duh. I'm here for an adventure. You're a girl's girl. Exactly. You've never jacked the box before? Neither have I. And I think we need to explore. <laughs> what is your biggest turn on slash turn off? Great question, you guys. Thanks for sending me that. <laughs> um, my biggest turn on, I would say, uh, what is a turn on? I'm gonna say like teeth. Someone has great teeth. I went through so much trauma with my orthodontist jaw surgery. Everyone's teeth could be better. So much better. Yeah. So much whiter. That's Just true. let's work on our teeth, people. That's all I'm looking at. And like when Miley Cyrus made that song about licking someone's teeth, that was the first time in music I felt <gasps> like like really big white teeth and I'm like, I want to lick your teeth. Turn off. Mm -hmm. Um, Bad breath. Big on the breath. Big on... Ugh. A boring personality. 20, Let's go there. Let's if, go if you, for twenty dollars. Boring personality. I love that. Biggest age dif difference you've had between you and a sexual partner. Tell us. Okay, so I'm twenty one. Right. Nine years. Thirty. <laughs> yeah. What about you? <laughs> Remember last Halloween in my midsummer costume? It was a dark time. I decided to go to some random man's house because the Ubers were like over $100. And I was like, fuck this shit. It's like 3 a.m. I was like, I'll find some time. I like was like sitting on some random doorstep. My friend Caitlin had a party and I was like really uncomfortable and was kicked out basically at like 4 a.m. Because I don't know her friends. And I was like, I'm being harassed. So like I ran down the street, like in the hills. And it was like so cold that night, very windy. There was a strong wind chill. And I like sat on some I random person's, so cold, very Chicago adjacent. <laughs> I sat on some random person's doorstep, like trying to barricade. And I Ubered to a 54, I think like a 54 year old's house. <laughs> And I left at like 8 a.m. You Ubered to it? Yeah. I really thought that was better than just going home. Like I was saved twenty dollars. I got home at like 9 a.m. and I have a photo, I'll insert it. Doesn't that suck though? I blame alcohol and probably you were doing It's like I love cleaning. What is the least amount of time you've known someone before sleeping with them? <laughs> Honestly, being a homo, you know, when you go out everywhere and there's like, you know, just straight people everywhere, you kinda have to resort to very unnatural meetings of people. I'm an Aquarius. I like to get to know someone every time I do, like, do the deed. I feel gross after. I'm like, ew. Let's give it two hours. You know what I mean? But that's, like, normal for gays, though. It's, like, half the time you don't even know the person, which is what I hate, which is why I, like, try not to even do that in the first place. <gasps> There's my turn on. Like, literally talking to someone who has depth. That's, like, interesting to listen to. But, like, someone who can just, like, so go in. I was so enamored by you. I wasn't even listening to your story except parts of it. Conversation is so important. And some Ryan and I talk about this constantly, where it's, like, I feel like I could have a conversation with anyone. One, but the other person, I'm like, just give, just give me something, just a little bit to work with. Just give like, us something to work with. Just give us, like, tell us what you're interested in, what you like to do, and don't just sit there on your phone the whole time mm. scrolling through Instagram. Right, boring. Who is the rudest influencer slash celeb you've ever met? I truthfully, like, haven't had a bad experience, I feel like. Like, if that, that was the one, but m most of the time these people are very, they're nice. They're genuine. Oh my god, I know, but I'm friends with this girl now. <laughs> Oh yeah. Like, remember that? Yes. There was this girl at this party and she was like, why are you here? 
Now I don't want to out her and I don't feel like she's that way at all, but I think some people will do have this like, I'm better than you mentality. At one time or another, you're gonna get knocked down and you're gonna realize that you just were so off to have that understanding and perception of the world that you're better than people because you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, I think it's gonna be Fun. This has been so much fun. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with the girls. Our podcast will be coming out soon one day. So let's take our shot. Ugh. Make sure to give this a like, a comment, a subscribe. Follow me at Ryan Painter. Follow her at Kenny Winneman. I hope everyone learned a lot about themselves and about us and about the world and where we are headed in this global pandemic. Yeah, I got political. Maggie's in I here. I think anymore. you need a new term. I'm kind of sick of Lila. Fuck you. It's a brand. I'm Guys, I love, love you like a sister. Mushroom <sighs> deadly. Wanna play it old melody? Anything less of the best of the felony? Love it. Believe it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs>